are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. And now here come the Ravens. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. On first and 10, it's Dalvins. And he's going to be met at about the 43. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Obviously, just a gigantic play here. Tied late in the fourth quarter, getting the block to keep this game level. Yeah, Brandon, I know that I should be giving a lot of credit to how it was set up and how they scouted it. Let's just give credit to the player who made the play. He understood the situation totally and did something just a little bit extra in order to affect that block. He sends this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. They'll come up first and 10 here. Jackson to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's second down. Throwing. Jackson connecting with Andrews. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. Now Jackson. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one.